so I'm on my way to my primary job after I did some um, Henderson equipment work this morning and I figured I would do my introduction video now. So I bought this John Deere 1050. Um, my mother actually found it. She said, Bradley, do you want this? And I said, yeah, you know what, let me go get this thing. So I bought this John Deere 1050, bought it for a great price. And um, this is, sometimes projects go this way. I had a vision, you know, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna put this to the side, I'm gonna make this a project, and I'm gonna rebuild this John Deere. And one thing led to another, I picked up another tractor, then I picked up another tractor, and then I went through a prioritization list and the John Deere fell to the bottom of the pri prioritization list. So then I had to decide, okay, well, do I just let that money sit in the field and, you know, hopefully I get time one day to fix it or do I sell it? And so I decided to sell it. So that's what this video is about. Sometimes videos just don't go the way you uh, initially envision, envision them to go. Um, that's just how it goes. So irregardless, here is some video content. Uh, it's not the best, it's not the worst, but hopefully you enjoy it. Alright, let's back this trailer up. There's that John Deere we're going to get. sitting all pretty. Let's see if I can get the trailer right back up there. There ain't no light for nothing. All right, I got to drop this tractor off that we sold. So after I drop that tractor off, I got to run to this farm and fix this Kubota tractor that won't start. All right, the sun is very slowly coming up. Um, and I don't know if I'm going I couldn't tell if I, this guy has a farm or if he just likes to work on tractors or what his deal is. But we're coming up to his spot here in a minute. Alright, uh, I don't want to video this person's house, so let me uh, take a break here. Alright, so we just dropped her off. A little 1050. This guy uh, kind of does what I do. Uh, he just has some, he's a farmer full time, but he's got some local guys that, he's got a lot of local guys, don't know how to fix anything, and so they drop their uh, stuff off to him. But he just focuses on deer, so. Anyway, I am headed out to go fix this Kubota yet again, and then I gotta get hustling to go to work. Busy, busy, busy. So we had a bunch of bad storms, so it took me fucking forever to get here. Um, so all the trees are down, but um, I'm pushing it on the time, so I'm going to give myself 
30 minutes tops to get this tractor started. If not, I gotta fucking roll to work. So, let's see how we do here. All right, this is uh, 2,500. Let's see, we've got lights, so that's good. Okay, it's in gear. It's out of gear. All right, just click, can you hear that? Usually that means you got a bad connection. we got a little battery, but probably a bad connection. Let's pop the hood and see what's going on. Our battery connection here. Yeah, it's also tight. Some goofy wiring, but all right. Let's see what's going on here. So the positive terminal on the starters corroded a little bit because of. Uh, while it's missing its cover. Usually there's a cover here because you know you got the ground and moisture. So I bet you this is rusted pretty good. Let me try taking this off, cleaning it, putting it back on, see if that does it first. If not, then we'll start checking grounds. All right, let's see. Ooh, it's tight. Why is that so tight? I'm getting nervous with how tight this is. Let's loosen it up. And it's so tight. I bet you it's so tight because of rust. Yes, you see the starter bolt? See how rusty it is? See the starter wire? See how dirty that is? Even the back side is dirty. All that is additional resistance that you don't need to try to start your tractor. So let's clean this up, put it back on, see if it makes a difference. So what I did is I cleaned up this post here. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can. But I cleaned up this post. Also cleaned up uh, the main positive wire and this auxiliary wire, which I'm not too sure. But one thing I am going to do is reorient. This auxiliary wire was going to the base where I want the main power supply, the main battery voltage, to go to the base of the starter. In theory, it shouldn't make that much of a difference, but I got a nice brass connection here that um, should help with good uh, contact. All right, so I'm going to install positive cable to the base, this auxiliary wire, and I cleaned up this bolt as well. Hopefully that helps promote good contact. All right, let's snug this thing up. All right, so that is tight, not too tight, but tight enough. Let's see if that will start the tractor. Alright, same thing. Let's just see if it turns over. Alright, it does. So that's what that one was. Just a loose connection. So that's nice. Alright, I'm gonna preheat this thing with the glow plugs. And then we'll see if this thing starts. Let's give her a go. No problem. Nice thing is uh, I finished this one in less than a half hour. So while that thing's running, I'm going to let it sit and run for a bit. I'm going to put my shit away. Um, but what's good is I'm not going to be late for work. Because I got this thing done real quick. So, 
without further ado, I'm going to go take a piss in a bush and go to work.